doing? He said clean up. I'm cleaning up. <laughs> you can't just throw everything in the closet. Hey, you can tell me what to do, or you can tell me how to do it, but you can't do both. This isn't sex. <laughs> There. They're just coming over for dinner. No one's gonna look in the closet. You don't know that. What if someone's looking for the bathroom and they open that door? Good workout. For all we know, there's a toilet in there somewhere. <laughs> Fine, but after tonight, we need to get a handle on this mess. Yeah, we should do. We should show the closet to Sheldon. Why? <laughs> Are you kidding? He's like a savant at organizing. Did you know everything in his apartment has a label on it? Including his label maker, which has a label that says label maker. <laughs> And if you look really close at that label maker label, you'll see a label that says label. <laughs> oh, it's our guest. We can't just ask him to straighten our closet. No, we wouldn't ask him. We'd just show him the closet and let the goblins in his head take it from there. Ooh, it smells good. Thanks. And Sheldon, I know tonight's the night you eat Thai food, so I went to the Asian market, got all the ingredients, and made it from scratch. Oh, you shouldn't have. Oh, it's my pleasure. No, you really shouldn't have. I brought my own. Stopped and got him takeout? I had no choice. He kept kicking the back of my seat. Sheldon, I've been cooking all day. Well, now don't you feel silly. Show him the closet. These spring rolls are amazing. Good job, Bernadette. That's the takeout that Sheldon brought. Oh, well. I'm sure they wouldn't have tasted nearly as good if I hadn't tried your food first. Howard, did you want your clothes arranged seasonally or by color? Color's fine. They're wrong. They'll be arranged seasonally. Uh, Sheldon, aren't you going to spend a little time with Amy? Oh, it's OK. I'm used to it. The other day at Whole Foods, he spent an hour optimizing the cheese aisle. Yeah, and some thanks I got. The assistant manager chased me out with an artisanal salami. His quirks just make you love him more. Someone please agree with me. Sheldon, come on, it's getting late. Time to go. Oh, five more minutes. That's what you said five minutes ago. Amy and Penny are already in the car. Let's move it. How come I never get to do anything I want to do? You know, if he really wants to stay and finish, I can give him a ride home. Oh, please, Leonard, he said it's okay. <laughs> Sheldon, it's... Wait, I can go home without you? Bye. <laughs> but yeah, Howard, I have a few questions. I found three bowling pins. Now, do you juggle these, or are you missing seven? <laughs> juggle. <laughs> you health nuts kill me. <laughs> I hate. Now, just a couple more items. Howard, I found this letter from your dad in a box. Now, based on the content, it could either Whoa, be filed. You opened this? Well, I had to find out if it was personal correspondence or memorabilia. Now, as I was saying, based on the no, content. I couldn't be less interested. Now, come on, I'll take you home. Howard, don't you want to know what's in the letter? If I wanted to know, I would have opened it years ago. <laughs> yeah, the closet looks great. Let's get out of here. Wait, can I bring this box of extra shirt buttons to sort on the ride? Do whatever you want. Oh, thanks. Oh, great party. Are you okay? Yeah, I just couldn't sleep. I told you you shouldn't have espresso after dinner. I know the little cups make you feel big, but it's not worth it. It's this stupid letter. Did you read it? No. You must be curious. Yeah, of course I'm curious. I haven't seen the man since you know, I was a little kid. And a letter shows up on my 18th birthday? What's that about? Why don't you read it? Maybe he apologizes or explains why he left. He abandoned me and my mother. Why does he deserve a chance to explain anything? Get that. <sighs> so what do you want to do with it? Something I should have done a long time ago. Really? Are you sure? Yep. Feel better? 
I do. 